Hi, this is Justin from Hot Spot Nymphing, and today I'm going to be fishing Yellow Breeches in Pennsylvania. So let's get to it. Today I'm using my 10 foot 3 weight syndicate, I have a Euro leader on here, and I have a tag system, but because the water is so low I just am fishing a single point fly, and I'm starting off with a fly I created called a crash dummy, and I'll be testing out this fly for the first time, and also a little bit later I'm going to be testing out the fly sandstone soft tackle, I also created that fly. so. See if we can get one. There's one. Little brown. Little small wild fish. Ate the crash dummy. There's one. Another little guy. Tiny little brown. Little guy. Little fall fish. That's neat. Not a trout, but second species. There's one. Stay out from under there. That's a nice fish. He's trying to go under that log. Wait, is that brown? Or rainbow? Can't tell. Oh, that's a really light colored brown. I don't know. I'm here. That's a nice brown. Eat the crash dummy. There's one. Let's see. Looks like a little brown. Come here. A little wild fish. He ate the crash dummy. So I put on a squirmy, see if we could get a stocked fish, maybe even a larger wild fish to eat it out of this pretty deep hole.
There's one. Eight square me. Nice little wild bear. Huh? So I put on my sandstone soft tackle. It has an orange bead, and then it has partridge as the tail, and then also wrapped around to kind of give it some movement, some legs. So. Let's see if we can get one. There's one. Tiny little guy. Let's see. It's a... It's... It's a little tiny brown. He ate the soft tackle fly. There's one. Another small guy. Another tiny brown. There's one. A nice fish. I can't tell what he is. Looks like a brown. I'm here. That's a nice brown. I don't know. Might be stocked, might be wild. Starting to get a little bit windy. Some starting to float the cider. Watching the tip just like I would an indicator. If it hesitates, jerks, does anything, I set the hook. There's one. Another nice one. About the same size as the last fish. He's feisty. That's definitely a stock fish, but he's very pretty. There's one. A little bit smaller. I'm here. This one's a wild fish. It's very pretty. 
Yeah, he's a very pretty wild fish. So that wild fish is in a little bit shallower water. He was kind of behind that rock up there in the little riffle. That's generally, I'll find the smaller wild fish in that type of water. And then as I move out into this deeper water, I'm gonna find more bigger fish, big wild fish, big stock fish. So this little spot is actually where I caught my first brown trout. I caught it on a beetle right behind that log over there. So I'm just using a single crash dummy right now. Water is really low right now so I don't need much weight and two flies will end up being a little bit too much weight and plus they're gonna get caught in different currents and they're gonna create drag so it's easier to just fish one fly. There's a little guy. Little tiny brown. There's one. Looks like a little wild brown. Ah, he got off. Right in that. There's one. Oh, it's a sucker. That's cool. So I spotted a golden rainbow. He's sitting back underneath the bridge. So I'm going to put on one of my mini black streamers. Let's see if we can get him. So I put on one of my little black micro streamers. I'm going to get it out there. I'm going to jig it in front of his face. He's looking at it. I got him. That's a nice golden. I've actually never caught one of these. Let's see if we can get him in. Come on upstream. I mean, nope. Stay here. Ah, he's so pretty. Nope, stay here, stay here, stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Yeah, stay here. Come on upstream. Come on. Come on over here. Come on. Got him. Wow, that's a crazy looking fish. That's my first ever golden, or whatever you want to call it. It's a strain of a rainbow trout. Not an actual golden trout, which are native to like Colorado high mountains. Wow, look at him. I just hooked into a little fish. Let's see. Little fall fish. 
I'm still using that little streamer. I ain't take it off after catching that golden rainbow. So I caught like a six, seven inch wild brown out of this hole. I changed to a squatchy bee, which is a stonefly imitation. I wanted something a little bit bigger. Maybe to catch a little bit bigger fish. Ate the scotchy bee. Hooked into a little brown on the scotchy bee. Nice little wild fish. They're liking this. I changed up to a Duracell, and he ate the Duracell. Hooked into a pretty nice wild brown. He ate the Duracell. Cut that nice little brown out of this little run right in front of the tree that goes into the water. There's one. Little guy. Another wild brown. Ate the Duracell. He's a very pretty fish. There's one. Another little wild brown. Not improving much on the size, but these fish sure are pretty. There's one. Nice little brown.
pretty little fish. Ate the Duracell. There's one. Nice little bear. Nope. Crazy nut. <laughs> Ate the Duracell. There's one. Little guy. Little brown. He ate the little white streamer. Nice wild man. So I put on a midge, it's kind of like a turbo midge, but it doesn't have the, the flashy rim. So let's see if we can catch a few on this guy. There's one. Little guy. Lots of jump. Little wild brown. Very pretty fish. Nice brown. Got me here. Fighting well. Where is he? Down here. Eat the midge. It's a really pretty wild, wild brown.
had a lot of fun fishing yellow breeches in Pennsylvania. I caught a ton of wild brown trout, some stock brown trout, and even a palomino. That was really cool. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more fly fishing and fly tying content.